Hey everyone, welcome, it's Caleb. In this episode, we're going to talk about what it takes to learn Python, or programming in general, in 100 days. This is often a challenge, especially for those who post regularly on social media. Study code every single day for 100 days straight, and post what you learned online. Obviously, the approach to learning code is going to be different for everybody, and the amount of time you can put towards studying code depends on your life situation. However, I came up with an example plan of what you could do to pretty much learn the essentials of the Python programming language and surrounding technologies in 100 days with about two hours a day, which for some of you that might be like only two hours. Well, you can of course study more than that. However, I think for like a professional adult who has a full-time job, two hours a day can actually be quite challenging to fit in consistently for 100 days. So if you have more time, great. If not, you just got to force yourself to get at least an hour, hopefully two hours a day. So I'll leave a link to this resource in the pinned comment, which is basically an overview of what I suggest the route of studying. And this is live. So as I create new videos, I can add them to this and you always have the most recent or the most updated version. Now, the question is, how do you study? Do you study by video? Do you study by books? Do you study just by trying to program stuff? My personal opinion is that you should do a little bit of all of those. I generally learn best by watching some videos and then spending a significant more amount of time studying articles or just questions and answers on Stack Overflow. So my thought was, if I had an hour of video to watch, how long would it take me to watch that hour and study the material in depth. And I was thinking it'd probably take me four to eight hours. Everybody learns at their own pace. I think I'm rather slow and I like to learn things in a little bit more depth than just rush through things. So I don't see any value in watching tutorials at double speed because the, the part that takes the most time is the extra research and actually coding the stuff out, not just watching the content. So if one hour of training material takes Let's just go on the high end and say eight hours of additional study to thoroughly understand that topic. And you're studying two hours a day for 100 days. You have 200 hours, which means you should be able to consume 25 hours of programming video and have an additional 175 hours of study based on whatever that video topic is about. And that study could be reading a book or it could just be practicing examples or building your own application using those principles. So I think this is majority hands-on and the video should be more of just a guide to get you where you're trying to go. So lately I've been focusing a lot on Python and the majority of content here is Python, but I have two big Python videos on YouTube, the beginner Python, which is six hours of content and Python programming, which is seven hours of content. This will go through pretty much all the essentials of Python. Then I have additional content down here below, as well as some stuff that is not exactly Python related, but is still very valuable, such as Git and GitHub. And I've been adding a lot of new Python videos, so by the time you get this, there might be new content on here. But what exactly consists of 25 hours? My thoughts were that you could watch both of these videos, and then you can consider checking out my Python bootcamp, which is about 10 hours of content, with the essential sections being the first two tiers here. So we have the three week Python bootcamp and then an additional web development and machine learning introduction. So this will go over some of the stuff in the beginner Python YouTube videos, but it's going to go in much more depth and work with new tools and modules. So this, for example, is going to have an entire section on different modules you can use inside of Python. So working with CSV files, web scraping, URLs, dates and times, copying, JSON, and collections. Like that's a lot of depth you might not get in a typical YouTube series. Now, obviously, not everybody wants to go spend money on a course. I'm not trying to push that on you. So I did leave these additional resources, which do add up to a significant amount of time. So we have 50 Python tips and tricks, and this was kind of like a speed run. So each one of these tips can be researched in more detail. An object-oriented crash course, a REST API crash course, learning Flask crash course, or I guess getting started with Flask and then some Git and GitHub stuff, as well as my latest videos here on YouTube. I personally think this is like the most conservative approach. Like you only have to get through 25 hours of content and fully understand everything there over the course of 100 days. That means each day you can watch 15 minutes of content 
and then study for an additional hour and 45 minutes. You see, people will watch a video and be like, oh, I don't understand this, this is confusing. Well, that's because they watch it once, maybe even on like 1.5 speed and expect to get it right away. But if you watch a video and you have two hours to understand 15 minutes of content, then you could rewatch it, practice some examples, and read the documentation for that topic as well. Now, I know it's not just about learning one programming language, it's also the surrounding tools, but my personal opinion is that you should stick to just one primary language for 100 days. Don't do like 20 days of Java, 20 days of Python, C++, and five different languages, because then you're pretty much just spreading yourself thin across numerous languages, and you're going to know all of them at a very shallow level. It would be better to spend 100 days on just one programming language and important tools like databases and so forth, and have a much deeper understanding. And that deeper understanding is going to be able to be moved over to other programming languages much easier than if you just knew a bunch of them at a really shallow level. Like, do you really get a lot of value studying if statements five times in five different languages, when instead you could study five different topics at a deep level for one language, which most of those topics are going to move to other languages as well? So it's really about how you use your time, and that's why I don't think going through hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos is really the best route of doing this. It's more about taking the best approach, learning just what is important, but understanding that at a really deep level. So in that 25 hours of video, you can understand Python pretty well. You can have experience with editing tools like Visual Studio Code. You can have experience with multiple databases, working with SQL, APIs, creating a wrapper around an API for ease of use, like uh, creating an SDK. You can have experience with functions, all the variations, object-oriented programming, collections, and various algorithms, and probably a lot more. <laughs> now, when it comes to how you're actually going to ensure your learning stuff, I think it's really important that you keep notes or a record of code somehow. So, for example, just creating a repository on GitHub for all of your code, or keeping a notebook and writing down everything you learn, or being a little bit more public about it and saying what day you're on, every single day for 100 days out on social media. And if you do that following any of my stuff, appreciate the, the tag and let me know that you're learning from my content. So let me know what you think. Is this pace too slow? Is it too quick? I personally believe that you can go quicker than this if you really focus, but if you're a brand new beginner, I think it's better to spend more than enough time on a topic to thoroughly understand it. Again, I'll leave a link to those videos in the pinned comment down below. I'm sure there are plenty of resources out there to learn, but I think the most important thing is don't overwhelm yourself with too many resources. Stick to one path and work through it systematically over the course of 100 days. Thank you for watching, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.